Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Much Free campaign, we go ahead and try to solve the iPhone camera throwing up a black screen. Now if you are facing this issue, there are a few things that you should be doing. Let's look at what you can do. Now the first thing is this is an iPhone 11 and let me explain what you can do is head towards your settings, scroll down until you see accessibility. So like you will see there's access accessibility coming down. So just tap on accessibility and here you will see voiceover. Now if this is turned on, just turn it off. And if it is off, even then just simply turn it on and then tap it again, like tap it and tap it to off, toggle it to off. What happens is sometimes the voiceover settings messes up with your camera and therefore turning it off is very important. So go ahead and try and do that. Hopefully things will work. If it doesn't work, then what you need to do is turn off your location settings to off. So for that, you need to head towards your settings, then head towards privacy. And here, if location services is turned to on, simply turn this to off. Hopefully things will work at this point of time. Now, this is pretty important, like doing these things can help. If it doesn't, then maybe you can see if there is an update available. So simply go ahead and update to the latest version. So like you can see there's a latest version available. Just simply go ahead and update to the latest version and then go ahead and restart the phone. Maybe that should help. But people have often complained that after tending to have the 14.4 update, the camera throws up a black screen. If that is the case, what you can do is uh, this may or may not work. Simply turn on the timer. Like suppose the timer is there. Now what you can do is switch from photo to video and then from video to photo. Simply switching from photo to video and then like from the front to back and back to front. Sometimes flipping things can actually work. So just do this timer trick. Hopefully things should work. And maybe this is also one possible solution. Sometimes simply turning off the like, you know, a camera app can help. So simply swipe from the down to the mid of the screen and then simply take out the camera app and then, then like bring the camera app back on and then switch between the front and the back. Like try doing this. Hopefully things should work. So maybe this is one more thing that can help. Now what I'm about to suggest next may sound funny, but this actually helps many people. So simply what you do is flap the phone tightly at the back and then a little towards the front what happens is sometimes there are certain camera peripherals that may have gone loose and when you do this those come back in place so when you actually do this you can also simply try and massage the phone uh, especially towards this portion like where the camera is there so that any parts if they have gone loose they will then like you know start working and they will actually fall in place and the camera will start working one more thing that you can do is simply like restart the phone. So this will vary from phone to phone, like the pressing of buttons. So for me is the volume down and the power button. And when I do this, I can slide to power off. So once I power off, so sorry, I will just. So simply restart the phone and hopefully things should work. So I will now restart the phone. So once the phone restarts, hopefully like your camera is up and working. So there you go. Like the phone has restarted. I'll put in my passcode. And now, like if I open my camera, it should work perfectly fine. You can again see like the front and the back cameras both. Sometimes people have problem with the front camera or sometimes with the back camera. Doing this troubleshooting steps should take care of all problems. And the last trick on my book, if all of these things fail, head towards settings, go to general and you are required to reset the phone. So for this, like scroll down until you see transfer or reset phone and then tap on reset, then reset. Like here, there are different options. You have to tap on reset all settings. It'll be prompted for your passcode and then basically like the reset of the phone happens. Now, if you are worried like whether your data or other things go, I have a separate tutorial on all of that. But this should be your last option. I really don't want you to do a complete reset. So simply like, you know, like try and doing all the other steps. Like I suggested, heading towards setting and like going to accessibility and like turning off voiceover, again going to like uh, privacy and then like taking care that the location has been turned off, then flapping so that like your camera pieces, if they are like gone, uh, 
like soft or they are falling off place will come back then restarting the phone looking for a software update in case if there is anything also in the camera simply going ahead and like turning the timer on so this trick works certain times and then like switching uh, behind like video and photo mode front and back camera so all these tricks like can work so just go ahead and do this also do a small restart and check whether this thing actually helps so hopefully some of this uh, will work and your iphone camera throwing up the black screen error will get permanently fixed if it still doesn't maybe there's an issue with the camera you should take it to the support service center but for me what actually worked was like the voice over thing from accessibility and the flap thing really sometimes they can do magic and I mean, I really think it really works. And if you are having problem with this, especially after, after the iOS updates, then I really think the timer issue or the voiceover thing should fix it. Until next time, it's me, Amnan, signing off. If you think today's tutorial is helpful, please do share this with your friends and family. I know many iPhone users who are having problem with the camera black screen, especially after the iOS 14 and 15 updates. So do let me know like if something works. If it doesn't work, still let me know so that we can figure out together different ways to solve this issue. Thank you.